Today we're going to make a giant hammock out of a cargo net. My roof deck is about 14 feet wide from railing to railing with a sort of small space that wraps around it. The deck and the railings are made out of pressure treated wood that's been coated with Bear's deck over products. Now I'm going to need to reinforce them so that they can take the weight of a hammock. I'm going to reinforce the railings with pressure treated lumber and galvanized brackets. I screwed a piece of pressure treated 2x6 through the deck boards and into the structural joist. I then attached an L bracket that's going to help reinforce that post which is going to take a lot of the force from the hammock. Now I'm trying to do two things. One, I want to reinforce the post but I also want to create a place where I can attach a regular hammock from time to time. I used a come along and a series of carabiners to tighten the chain to support the post. Now I don't want the chain digging into the top rail, so I coated a couple of L brackets with flex seal and then nailed them into place. A regular hammock is, well, okay, but I wanted something a little bit bigger. So I attached a series of rings around the perimeter of the railing. Now keep in mind, I'm actually screwing through two pressure treated two buys. I ordered this giant cargo net online. It wasn't cheap, it cost about $270. And I'll put a link to where I bought it in the description section of this video. I then used half inch diameter rope and I wove it around the perimeter of the cargo net. Now my railings are about 14 feet apart and the net was only 12 feet by seven feet, but I knew it was gonna stretch a bit. Initially, I just hooked the ropes up to the carabiners that were hooked into the loops that I screwed into the railings. This wasn't tight enough, however, and I immediately hit the deck when I sat in it. So I added more loops to the railing and then started tightening up the net. And also, instead of just hooking to the ropes, I started using the carabiners to connect to the ropes and to the netting. This worked much better, but the net will still keep stretching over time, so I kept adding more loops and slowly tightening it up as it stretched out more. After about two to three weeks of use, it seemed to have stretched to the maximum, and then I added in two additional support cables that I can use carabiners to clip on, only when I'm gonna have a lot of people on the hammock. For more detailed instructions, check out my website, and if you wanna see what I'm working on next, be sure to follow me on Instagram. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Thanks.